22-year-old Demetrius Cutchin has a learning disability, but he doesn't let that hold him back. I like to run all the time. Today, he is practicing getting off to a quick start with his coach, Anthony Sukenu. I need to push him to make sure that we get the best out of him. There you go, come on, let's go. Walk it. Tell me the last stuff, you're stressed out, chain down. After Two, preliminary three, tryouts in Los Angeles, four, where only yeah. the top athletes will be Six. chosen, Kutchin hopes to run three. in the 100 meter dash, a 400 meter relay, and a 400 meter race. Big Last circle, year at the U.S. Special go. Olympics in New Jersey, he came go. in first in the 400 Four, meters, five, his fastest time ever. Six, seven, He's hoping to beat that time eight, at the 2015 eight, World eight, Games. I feel happy. I feel excited. I don't feel a win by myself. There his coach says the shy, quiet athlete has blossomed since he began taking part in the Special Three, Olympics program a four. few years ago. You can see that his personality has grown and his athletic ability has also grown vastly. Cutchin's mother, Laverna, says Special Olympics has helped with his learning disability, and he graduated from high school last year. I told him, keep his head up and everything. You're going to be OK. Go, push. So Keno says the Special Olympics is not so much about winning or losing as it is providing a supportive atmosphere for people with intellectual disabilities who may not have the opportunity to participate in sports. It gives them a place that they are safe and they understand that everybody that's there is there for them. While the athlete is in Los Angeles, his mother will be cheering him on back home in Washington, hoping he'll get a gold medal. I hope so, he do. <laughs> Deborah Block, VOA News, Washington. You got that strength? You got that strength? Come on, one push.